what accomplishment in your remarkable career gives you the greatest pride? I suppose that I was lucky enough to be part of the revived feminist movement. Women had been saying the same things that we were saying in the 70s ever since Abigail Adams. But society was not yet prepared to listen. Even in the 60s, in the 70s, there had been a sea change in the way people were living. And I think of my own family. My daughter was born in 1955, and I was one of the few working moms in her grade school class. My son was born 10 years later in 1965, and it is not at all unusual to have a two-year family. So the, I saw the law as catching up to a change that was already occurring in the larger society. Society had changed, so the law kind of put its imprimatur on that change that, that started with the way people were conducting their lives. For one thing, uh, women had many more years without child care respons responsibility because people lived much longer than they once, they once did. And then inflation helped, too. Mm. Because if you wanted to, to give your children opportunities, you needed a second income. And then the feminist movement was revived, not just in the United States, it was all over the world. I think it was 1975, the UN declared that International Women's Year. So I consider myself tremendously fortunate to have been alive and a lawyer when society finally was ready to recognize women as person equal in citizenship stature to men. <laughs>